What's going on everybody? I'm Zach and this is the Command Dudes. This week, we know it's the Command Dudes. We got new stuff every week. We got a new commander this week. Probably one you aren't going to see very much online because it's a pretty low-key commander, so be excited for that. We hit 800 subscribers. Booyah! We're so close to the thousand mark. Just please keep on hitting that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And lastly, we got face cams this week. Actually, a face cam. Working on getting the rest of them, but hey, it's another step towards uh, something cool. So, anyways, with all that stuff out of the way, let's check out this game's commanders. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Twitter at The Command Dudes. We stream our games live every Saturday at 12 p.m. PSD on Twitch. And if you want to help support the channel, get stickers, and maybe play some games with us, check out our Patreon. Links to everything are in the description below. This week, I am playing my newest commander deck, Ferida, Devil's Chosen. I really saw this uh, last set, and I was like, man, I really want to make some janky, um, gimmicky deck, and I decided to go with Ferida as my choice out of the bunch. The deck spoke to me in a way that it has the best dice rolling cards available to it in the is it colors so i was like boom is it commander boom rolling some dice how are we gonna win We're gonna win with deck of many things and i've kind of built this deck to be geared towards assembling a couple infinites i'm gonna need infinite mana i'm gonna need infinite untaps so i can just keep on rolling the dice trying to get that lucky number 20 and hopefully reanimate something and kill somebody in the process and hopefully with the infinite amount of things uh, to be able to do that it should have higher odds but there is a chance I can whiff and just draw up my deck and lose from this so we're risking the biscuit this week Tyler's still on his vacay and we had Anthony filling in his spot Anthony's playing Xenagos he's playing big gruel smash and he's not gonna hold back against the dudes he's packing big creatures giving them haste doubling up their power and going to the face this week, Matt is playing his brand new mono blue wizard tribal Azami deck. This deck, as described by Matt, is a classic Matt deck with zero win cons. So I'm excited as much as you are to see what this deck can do and what Matt has chosen to do with it. Casey this week is playing Kelsian the Plague. Now originally this was my deck, but I they found out that Voltron isn't really what I like to play, and Casey is much better at it and enjoys it much more than me. So we did a trade. It's now Casey's. He's buffed it with Casey's favorite cards and whatnot, and he's made it his own deck. And Casey's excited to really bring it to the table today and ping us down. Before we hop into this game, I'm just going to let you know it is quite salty. <laughs> and there will be an explanation at the end of the video. So if you're not so sure about what's going on, make sure to watch to the end to see what I'm talking about. Anyways, with all that stuff out of the way, it's time for the Command Dudes. Drop the turn. Oh. Land pass. No, I drew a card. Island, tap, soul ring. Oh my. Tap. I swear to god, every game we play is this. <laughs> Foretell. Someone has it, it's just out Whoa, of control. Oh, that was insane. Oh, pass. <laughs> pass turn? It's yep, the counter turn. spell. Foretold? It is foretold. It's either counter spell or raven form. Either way, I'm Man scared. Power. What's your game? <laughs> okay. Pass turn. Draw. Man, that card's a bummer. Island, and I will pass. I'll draw. I'll play a forest top elvish mystic. Nice. Go ahead. Have uh, drop for turn. Uh. Tapped Myriad Landscape and pass the turn. Go ahead, Kizzy. What's that? Draw. Oh, that was unfortunate. Um. There's no sense in tapping it to float it. But I'll play this Orzal Baliska, returning the command tower, and then I'll pass. Seven cards in hand. I will draw. Okay, now we're working with something. Cooking with some propane. Island. Pay two. For a... Arcane in Investigator. 
As you guys clearly know what this does, so I don't need to read it for you. But six, no, six six mana to uh, roll a d twenty. Um, one through nine, I draw a card. Ten through twenty, I look at top three and get to pick one of them. <laughs> that seems really good. Really, six mana. Well, hopefully, we get there. Um, pass. I'm on the strong end, Zach. That's my I turn. don't know about how good that is. It's right. not the best, but I'm gonna play Myriad Landscaped. And then I'm gonna foretell a card. Ooh. Yeah, everybody's foretelling, and I will pass. That was cool. Untap, draw for turn. Oh, gosh. Uh, we will play an island for turn. We'll tap two for a arcade signet. Jesus and then Christ. we will pass a turn. Oh, wow. Draw. I will replay the command tower. Tap three. Bring out Kelsey. Kelsey's the one with death. Uh, oh, yeah. Deals one damage it, to target creature. He's only good with death touch. So yeah. before that, he's a piece of shit. Yeah. Um, I'll hit Matt for two because he has vigilance and haste. I will take two commander damage. And then, yeah, that's all I can do, boys. Pass turn. Do I kill Zach's guy just to fucking meme him? Easy. Is it really a one toughness? Two one. It has one toughness. Oh my god. I tap draw. We're not hitting the land that we needed. Play an island. Yeah. I think I have to. I think I gotta pass. Right. Oh wait, actually, let me let me get in on Matt. Let me get in on Matt real quick. Hit him for two. Oh. Okay. Down to thirty six. Right. I will it. pop my landscape. <laughs> All right, Anthony, go for it. All right, I'll, uh, actually, as X in step, I will kill the Elvish Mystic though. <laughs> oh, oh come on, dude! <laughs> How badly do you need it, Anthony? Hold on, I have no lands in hand. All right, I'll let you have. It. You're good. All right. In until he cracks the <laughs> landscape. Until he cracks the landscape and is back in the game. Well, I mean, honest, I will be fine if he blows up the Elvish Mystic after I crack it. <laughs> Because I drew one land, so I had no I'll wait until Matt's in step to blow something up, okay? That's Go, do your turn. Alright. I'm going to crack Myriad Landscape. I'm going to get two mountains and pass. Go ahead, Matt. Okay. Go ahead, Matt. Cut. Untap. Drop. Turn. Good. Okay, game. Let's relax. We will More play... More ramp, Matt? Uh, almost. We'll play an island for turn. Then Oops. we'll pay five. We'll, we'll use the artifact. I messed Ugh. up. To cast my commander. Yep. Lady of Scrolls. Dude. I can tap and untap wizard control to draw a card. I will pass the turn. At the end step, I'll hit the Elvish Mystic now. That's fair. And I will get a experience counter. Which, uh, I'll just keep it in Guinevere's mouth. That sounds great. <laughs> then I will go to my turn. Draw. That wasn't what I wanted to see. I will play a Plains. I will tap the Command Tower for Vorpal Sword. Oh, God. I will play one, and I'll Pongify Kelsey. And, Zach, you're playing the weakest deck, and now we have to go to war. In response, I will kill your guy. Uh, Let's fucking do it, Zach. I'm ready. <laughs> Seeing if Battle start. I can do. Well, we're locked in, Zach. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, I can't believe you killed my D20 guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I get a 3-3 three, three, ape, right? You get an ape. I can hold a sword. I can. will instantly equip it to that. Is that the sword if you pay 7, they lose the game? Yes. <laughs> your god. It's like the most coolest thing they added for Kelsey, in my opinion. It gives you death touch, which is everything Oh, it's everything like the coolest thing from the set. Vorpal Sword Yeah, sick. it's sick. Um, he does not have haste, the monkey, so... I got three mana. It doesn't do me anything. Uh, I'll pass. Untap. Draw, please, God. Well, it's something. It's something. Tap three. Ristic study. Then we'll pass. Oh, what? <laughs> I Hold on. In response, what, what's Ristic study whenever it is... Cast a spell? Yeah. Yeah. Get okay. rid of it, Matt. Okay. I I I cannot. You're okay. mono blue. 
Yeah, blue has no answer for enchantment. <laughs> That's fair. So is it good? You done? Yeah, it's good. It's good. I just need to make sure what it did. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay the one. I'm gonna go down his reach. Good one, Anthony. Yeah. Alright, he's out of control. Someone yeah. stop him. <laughs> forest. I'm gonna get a forest onto the battlefield, and I'll put a mountain into my hand, and I'll play it for a turn. And that's it. On your end step, I activate Ozami tapping. Uh, Azami. To draw a card. Azami. Azumi. Alright, and then we will untap. Pretty good value. Draw for turn. Oh, my Atlanta. More land, Matt. More land. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been a lot for the query tower. I'm jealous, uh, Matt. Uh, oh, 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 uh, I can't do anything past Kate. Sounds Sorry, like a banjo character. <laughs> uh, draw for turn. I will play Buried Ruin. That's my land for turn. Then I will tap three. Paying the Ristic Study Fee for Sword of the Animist. Mm hmm. I will equip it on the elephant, and then I will swing at Zack. Yeah. Or six. I take six. Uh, whenever a equipped creature attacks, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, tapped. Now we're even, right, Casey? No. There oh. is no thing you can say or do. <laughs> Sorry, Zack. You have chosen the path. You have chosen choose... death. I didn't choose Jack. <laughs> yeah, you did. You were the first one to interact right there, right? I, I, was, I had to... Well, now you got this fucking monkey coming at you. <laughs> uh, that is my turn, though. So, shuffling. You can go. I will draw. Oh, on tappers. Well, we're still unlucky. Playing Island. I also want to see what Zinagos and Matt do. Because they look like cool decks. Pay three. Four. Transmuting, muddle the mixture. Uh, discard it, search my deck for a card with converted mana cost two. Reveal it, put it to my hand. What are you searching for? I don't know. We'll find out. That's a pretty good one. I'm gonna get a dramatic reversal. Yeah. Do you have Ice Crown Scepter in hand? If so, I'm targeting Zach. I do I not would... have it in hand. I'd be okay with it because he literally can't do anything with it right now. <laughs> exactly. He That's can see with everyone. I was gonna target Zach no matter what. That's fair. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> um. That's my turn. Alrighty. Ooh. When you bottle the mixture at instant speed. No, it says only a uh, sorcery. Oh, well, there you go. I'm gonna tap forward to unfortell Battle Mammoth. Oh, that guy's so cool. That art's so sick, too. Mammoth. So um, whenever you become a target, right? Draw a card? Whenever it becomes the target of a spell yeah, or draw. ability. And opponent control. You, you can draw. Yes, I'll be nice. Thank you, my friend. Is Battle Let Mammoth good? Check. Let me double check. Let me read my card. Looks like Matt's reading a myriad landscape. <laughs> I, I, I am reading a myriad landscape. But I'm reading the text. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll play the one card. It's foretold for a reason. Well, we will cast a mystic reflection targeting the elephant. Or yeah. sorry, the monkey. The monkey. The monkey. May the monkey. I draw? Uh, I'll pay the one. All right. So battle mammoth is a three-three monkey ape. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, why'd you have to do that, Matt? Because in case I have to target your stuff, I do not want you to draw cards. I was trying to be nice, not do anything. You're nice. We can team up once I uh, get going. I will pass turn. If you had, had Zonagos out, was that like a 12, 10 trample? 12, 11 eight? trampler. Yep, with eight. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's a little scary. Uh, on your end step, I also play a card. Let's see, we'll tap four. Why is Matt just playing the same deck? This is the fairy deck. No. It's the same deck, Matt. <laughs> it's not the same deck. We'll flash in Venser. And when he hits the field, return target spell or permanent to its owner's hand. We're going to bounce Casey's monkey to his hand. Ooh, I like it. We Are you going to pay the one? Uh, I do have mana, so yes. Okay. And then we'll tap two wizards to draw two cards. And then we'll untap. Draw for turn. You... Okay, I have officially drawn a lot of lands. We will pay three for a Seagate Oracle. When this enters the battlefield, look at the top two cards in my library, put one into my hand, the other to the bottom. I will look at the top two. And we're going to put this one in my hand and then this one to the bottom. Then we will pay 
One, two, three, four, five. You're keeping up a blue and tapping the arcade signet instead to play an artifact that's called Venser's Journal. I have no maximum hand size, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I gain life equal to my hand size. Annoying. Uh, I will then pass the turn. I have two blue, or whatever that means. Proper turn. I will play this pathway for turn. I'll tap two, three, oh, four, did. five. I'll play Kelsey. I gotta do it to you, Casey. Dude, what, gonna... what am I doing? I've been I've been removed twice already. Are you gonna Matthew. hit me with that guy? You're gonna hit me with that guy. You've already threatened me to only focus me. I'm a flash in subtlety by exiling uh, Scion of Stygia and enters the battlefield. Choose up to one target creature spell or planeswalker spell. Its owner puts it on the top or bottom of their library. Yes. Guess kids could draw into it, which wouldn't be too bad. Um, but. I guess we're just letting Matt do whatever. I guess I don't get to play the game, so... That's not doing anything to us. He's just drawing cards right now, so I don't really care. You're actively trying to kill me. <laughs> I will just do that. Oh, yeah, did you want to pay for the, the Rhystic, Casey? Yeah. Cool. Actually, I'll just put it on top. Yeah. If someone shuffles it, that's fine. Pass turn. Uh, this guy dies. Sacrifices yeah, at the end step. Yep. Nice. Tap, draw... Oh, play a mountain. <laughs> Tamancy, chill. You don't need to tell him. <laughs> yeah, did it? Oh, for Vencers? I forgot about that one. Nah, uh, you had me pay for Vencers by Cast Seagate Oracle and Vencers. Oh, yeah, Vencers. Yeah, Vencers. Well, both of them are out. Cool. Uh, I'm going to pay two for Dockside Extortionist. Three I don't see it. For me. Where? Where's Dockside? Right here. I'm, Three. I'm not. Go with that. I'm not. I'm not. My I, could, I can grab it real quick if you want to see a real one. <laughs> uh, it's not right the here. deck, though. I feel like you're just grabbing a card outside the game. So, three, six, six? I think so. No artifact lands or anything? Uh, I have a response. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Destructive Revelry targeting Vencer's Journal. Kill? What, what does it are do? You, are you going to pay the one? No, I'm not going to pay the one. Destroys Vencer's Journal, and then you lose two life. I will, in response, cast Misdirection by exiling a blue card in my hand. Okay. Uh, we'll exile Resculpt to change the target of a single target spell. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rhystic we'll, study? Just, we'll destroy... May I draw, Matt? I'll pay the one. Um, Whatever I discard, I need to exile. Uh... Yeah, we'll destroy the Rhystic Study. I drew the card from the other one. Destructive Revelry. Rhystic Study will die. Uh, then... So it's still six? Still six. Uh, yep. uh, what, wait, I destroyed... Oh, yeah, it doesn't count you. Yeah, it doesn't count me. So That's why I was six. targeting Vencer's Journal. Treasures. Okay, so... This turned out to be pretty slick. You can see six treasures. For a Dead Eye Navigator, Ugh. which will soul bond with oh, Dockside. No. In response, I'm gonna tap uh, three wizards and draw some cards if that's all right. Snackery. Yeah. Okay. Nope. All right. Continue. Yeah, you have infinite mana. Pay two, and then I just keep on flickering Dockside for infinite treasures. Yep. Okay. Um. But do you Biggest... have anything to do with it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm going to no just say has. I 10, have... 10,000. Yeah, we have 10,000 treasure. All right. I know red has destroy all artifacts. <laughs> yeah, but he can still flicker it for infinite mana. Yeah, but it also... Red also has shock. It doesn't have shock. cast my commander. Dude. Then I'm going to... People want some new cards in their hands, right? I know, I'll let Casey draw this card. I don't want to do Casey in like that. All right, I will... I don't, I don't care remotely, Zach. I'll pass. I got removed out of this game so quick. 
Clue Rogue, the real MVP coming through. Oh, Clue Do Rogue. It. Mr. Nasty. Right. Mr. Nasty, that's a good name. Oh, uh, yeah, this. I'm just going to try to play catch up now. <laughs> Nothing that? much. Uh, Arcane Signet into Xenagos. No, he's... Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hell move... yeah, baby. I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to make my ape a 6-6, six, six, and I'm going to swing at Zach. Does not have trample. Um, I will just block with Dockside. Then, but I mean, I could flicker it, but yeah, okay. I might as well flicker it. Yeah. And then I'll flicker it, and I'll make six more treasures. Yep. Go ahead, cool. Matt. On my upkeep, Venser's journal goes on the stack, and in response, we will tap three more wizards to draw three cards. He's a god. <laughs> and I have so many lands in my hand. That's too cool. It's cool. It's cool. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cards in hand, gaining nine life up to 45. And then I will draw for turn. 45. Okay. And I'm now upset. Game got out of hand quick. Yeah. Yeah, I think Zach's full of shit. This is a D20 deck that's bad. How many D20s have you rolled, Zach? I haven't oh, had a chance. Zero. <laughs> I haven't had a chance. Fuck you guys won't here, let me dude. draw. Sick. If you don't let me draw, I can't get to the D20s. Oh. It but sounds me. like you have a draw spell, though. But Matt yeah. had to hit my battle, battle mammoth. If I had a draw spell, Matt, I would have used it. How was I supposed to know? Yeah, yeah, Matt also removed something of mine. Know. So, feels good that Matt I, and Zach are on the team. I that the D20 deck is terrible. It's yeah. a 6-5 you... beater. That's all it does. <laughs> Have no, you seen him not. roll a d20 yet? Zach lied to us again, dude. I can't lie. I ran every d20 card I could. I see Rhystic Study, Dockside, and fucking the Soulbound guy, dude. Where's the d20 card, Zach? I need infinite mana for the combo to win with d20s. I'll pay three mana. Uh, so one floating, it, floating it general to cast a dramatic reversal. Untapping oh. my creatures and artifacts. That's the ice save there. No. No. I just... What was that, Anthony? Where's the Isochron Scepter? There is yeah, no. There is zero. Is this uh, a Thostas deck, Matt? We will then tap three friggin' wizards. <laughs> you didn't answer. <laughs> three it is a Thostas deck, wizards. isn't it? There is no Thostas. A bullshit. <laughs> yeah, Matt and Zach, the liars of the fucking world right now. I'm playing <laughs> Gruel Beaters. Seems fair. <laughs> Using the one general in Arcane Signal, I'll cast a Confounded Conundrum. When Edge is about to field draw a card, if anybody ramps now, they bounce a land back to their hand. Bounce. Yep, yeah, it's messed up. Okay, maybe messed there should up. be tosses in here. Uh, because I drew a card. We'll tap two. And two more. For Teferi's Aegis Insight. Oh, man. Drawing too many. And then we'll pay two. To cast Nabon, Dean of Iteration. If a wizard entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability or your per of a permanent control to trigger, it triggers an additional time. Interesting. Cool. Uh, land for turn is a path of ancestry. Dang, and we'll, we'll, we will pass the turn. Go ahead, Casey. Untap. Draw my commander. That's how I feel right now. Just, you uh, know. Yep. I was lied to I in the pregame yeah. lobby by Zach. Okay, explain. I didn't lie at all. I said I have infinite. Saying the D20 deck sucks <laughs> is also like it's I don't think bad. That came like, out of my mouth in the pregame talk. I said I got infinite. Told me that. Focusing on the thing. I'll you can bog, Matt. Goodbye, my greenbeard. And then I will attempt again to play my commander. No responses. No Here. responses. I can't equip that because I don't have the right mana right now. Can't give it death touch. Can't equip Sword of the Anime because I already played one. And if I do that, then I have to bounce one because of Matt's thing. Tab, I'll just tap four. Try to play Hammer and is on. No responses. Clear. Yep. Wait. Guess I have haste. Ah, swing at Zach. At me, not at Matt. Oh, it's on the principal. <laughs> the principal. Zach's not doing anything, Zach, remember? Uh -oh, I'm just drawing. Yeah. You, yeah, but you have 45 life. You're the one that Casey needs to kill. All right. Well. I'm, not doing um, I'm just drawing cards. And it doesn't Better. even matter if he attacks me. I I block with Dark Sign, and then I pay two mana to bounce him, and I get net 
four, five mana now. Six, seven mana now. Yeah, that's uh, that is my turn. Untap. Draw. I don't need infinite mana anymore, so this doesn't really matter. Infinite mana. Pay one. Cast Winds of Change. All players shuffle their hands in the library, draw the same amount of cards. They had. All right, I have five. I have three. Response. three. I'm going to cast a creature. Oh, it's like oh. you're countering it? Because I already put the cards back in my deck now. Okay, okay, your turn. <laughs> yeah. I'll pay two mana to cast a Merfolk Trickster, tapping something and it loses its abilities this turn. Can Deadeye Navigator uh, target, like, flicker itself too? Yep. Yes. Oh my god. I guess we'll tap Zach's commander and it loses its. <laughs> I can't even turn. roll. <laughs> I can't even roll. And then, yeah, I'll put my hand in. I, I'm putting in eight. Okay. So I get to shuffle, draw three. That was bad. Are you fucking kidding me? Lands? <laughs> all lands. <laughs> my hand was all lands. It was eight lands. Uh oh. <laughs> I <hope> so, <laughs> I'm pretty stoked about the shuffle. I drew right. five lands. I just need deck of many things, Isochron Scepter, and that dramatic reversal needs to come back. All right, let's go. Can I get the three for three? He's cheating. Didn't work out. Because I have Teferi's Aegis inside, I'm drawing 16. Yep. Yep. Well, I got hosed this game. <laughs> yeah, I got hosed as well. I got removed three times the early phase, and I don't think I was the threat to remove my fucking monkey, Matt. I don't know how I'm getting blamed for this when none of these cards were on the board until after everything happened. I'm just saying that we were all we so were, sold a load of shit. We were that. under we the guise of yeah. Zach's lie. Yeah. I did lie. Was, uh, yeah, okay, bud. I wish it was recorded, I swear. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Saying this deck is bad, it's not good. And then I think, what is it, turn five, you have infinite treasures? Yep. I literally told you. You told me you had infinites, but you didn't say it was, you know... I said just... it's infinites to win with that one card. And the deck is focused I on getting to that astray. card. I wonder what the rest of the table thinks. Were we led astray, guys? I think uh, it was pretty honest with it. I said I I'm think... streamlined to searching for that combo, and I have infinites. That's what I've done. Uh... Alright, Matt. Win the game, please. Land for turn. <laughs> Casey, what did I say about my deck at the start? No win condition, Matt. I, I mean, that's why I want you to win. <laughs> no. Matt's classic Matt deck has an infinite... As long as you control board. both... So if I blink Deadeye Navigator and he comes back in, can he re-soul bond? Yes. I With something else? So. That's the whole thing, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then we will pay two to... Blink him. He comes back in. He'll target Farida to be blinked to. To soul bound with. Yeah. Pay two to bounce Farida. Comes yep. back in. Her ability's live. Yep. The fuck is Agreed. a D12? I'm going to use seven mana. Yep. Oh no. Cast this card. Reckless Endeavor. Uh, roll 2d12, choose one result, it deals that much damage, uh, equal to the result to each creature. Uh-oh, I didn't read that part. And then, create that many treasure tokens. Yeah, let's go. I believe this is a d12. There's 12 the highest sides. number on there? <laughs> yeah. That looks like a d12 to me. <laughs> I think you're good, Zach. It's got a cute, roll it's got it, a cute baby. Little, little duck in it. I don't think you can see it in the camera. No, it's blinding. <laughs> we got a two. All right, not looking too hot. Not looking too hot. Get another chance. I also get, whenever you roll one or more dice, if the one is over 10, I get a draw card. Let's go. It's an 11. Oof, 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 oof. So she gets a draw trigger on the stack this thing's gonna resolve dealing 11 damage to every creature and then i get 11 treasures like did you just clear your own thing yep. yeah fine right. I, I think i already missed time my draw so that's okay boom boom what do i have a way to save it for one minute? i get a draw 
Then I will spend six of this. So five. Not that it really matters. The cat's Ferida. Then I will use seven to cast Arcane Endeavor. Roll two D8. Not drawn today. Um, and then draw cards equal. Choose one. Draw cards equal to the result. Then what's a D8? It's the diamond. Diamond. Okay. Diamond. Um, draw cards equal to the highest result. And then I may cast an incident or sorcery with mana value less than or equal to the result from my hand without paying the cost. Whoop. I got a six. Then whoop. a one. I will pick six. Draw six. And then you get to cast a one drop for free. To the other result. Yep. I do not have a one. But maybe that's how this other one worked. To the other result. Yeah, that's how that one worked. But the treasure part at least doesn't really matter. Use two treasures for a mind stone. Two treasures for a black blade reforged. Five treasures for minus nine. I don't think you have to keep track. Yeah. Just in case someone on YouTube's like, this fucking good. What's it say? When it enters the battlefield, choose target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard, then roll a d20. Let's go. We're going with Arcane Endeavor. Who want to talk? Roll the d20. Got an eight. Um, I may put that card on top of my library. I will put that card on top of my library. Then I'll use three treasures to equip that there. Pay one, sack this, draw that card. Okay, seven treasures to roll two d8s. So one. And three. I will draw three. Cast a one mana. Thing. One mana. Instant sorcery. Oh, didn't have that. Um... Use one treasure wizard class and one treasure soul ring. Use three treasures to go to level two. Draw two cards. Bing bong. If you draw a card, put a plus one plus one on. I guess go to level three for five more. So whenever I draw a card, I get to put a plus one plus one on creature control. Three treasures. I'll play a treasure chest. I will pay four to sacrifice it and roll the d20. I got a 10, so I'll draw a card after it resolves. Um, so I got 10. So I gain three life and draw three cards. Seven. This is solitude. Or whatever, solitude. So I draw four. One, two, three, four. Hey, Matt, Casey, do you want to shuffle up and play a new game? <laughs> I'm actually playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm yeah, I mean, that's one. fair. <laughs> It's going to take a second. It's one, been two, a second. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, and then one more treasure, because it doesn't matter. For a treasure cruise, draw three. Treasure cruise. Three. 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 God. Three. One treasure for a ponder. Look at top three. Put them back in any order. Draw one. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Have you got a win con yet? Where are so we? Put it on it top. Draw. Okay. Uh, put another counter on. Looking good now. Five treasures for deck of many things. One treasure. Become a barbarian. If I would roll one or more dice, roll that many. Plus one. Ignore the lowest roll. Pay three for this. When it enters the tribute mage, it enters the battlefield. May search my library for an artifact card. Convert man cost two or less. Reveal it. Put it in my hand. Is this the win con? Oh, it's part of the win con. Please go. Oh, there's only one choice. Altar of Dementia. Is there no more ways to draw? There are no more ways I can draw here. Pay six mana for a Earth Coal Elemental. When it enters a battlefield, roll a d20. And I will roll two d20s. I got a 16, and I got a 18. 
I guess I will keep the, it doesn't matter, 18. Um, it says 10 through 19. Each opponent sacrifices a permanent. Okay. And then I draw a card for Farida. I sacrifice Confounding Conundrum. And then I will play Power Persuasion. Choose target creature an opponent controls. Casey's creature. Uh, roll a d20. Roll two. There's 18. And a 20. Hey, not 20. We'll keep the 20. Gain control of it until the next turn. End of my next turn. So I get to Casey's commander. And I draw a card. And then I'm out of juice. And I will go to my cleanup step and pass. Discarding two mountains and an island. Play Cinderglade, top five. Play God Eternal Aronis. Doesn't do anything. Go to combat. Make it a 10 10 pass turn. One tap. I'm hoping for a Cyclonic Rift. Drop a turn. Uh, I don't have Cyclonic Rift. Then we're doomed. Uh, we have a card. Oh, wait. Uh, untap on. Before I draw my card, let me count the cards in my hand. One, two, three, four. 16. 16 cards. 55, 61. 61 life. All right. Uh, 61. <laughs> I hope you guys can back me up a little bit, but we'll see. We'll tap three, uh, four, five, six, seven. One of them being Path of Ancestry to Scry. We will cast a Cyclone Summoner. When this, yeah. this giant enters the battlefield, return all permanents to their hands except for wizards, giants, and lands. I have a response to this. Yes, sir. I'm going to pay two mana and mana drain it. I will pay two mana and Narset's reversal it. What's that? Does it work like that? Yeah. Copy, it... target, enter sorcery, and bounce it to your hand. Oh, okay, bounce it to my hand? Yeah. So this goes back to my hand? Yeah. Then I cast it again? Yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I had. Yep. I didn't really do anything. <laughs> it, was, it was in hopes that you didn't have mana, but obviously okay. you have mana. Yeah. This is a bad yeah. deck. I run Mana Drain, Darkside <laughs> Extortionist. Dude, Anthony, you now I know like how what I have to fucking deal uh, with. I dude. swear, I didn't. And everybody say falls it was for a bad it. Deck. Everybody falls for Zach's fucking line of BS. Every I time. was honest in the beginning. When I told you guys. I don't even know where I put my commander. Did I put it in the graveyard? Uh, oh yeah, let me get that scry in though. I'm sure we'll keep that. <laughs> talk to our other group about Zach, Anthony. You'll get the real lowdown. Well, <laughs> I didn't know what you're talking about. I literally oh. said. I oh, Caleb Dallas, Devin, get him in this chat. Dude. I don't run a bunch of infinites. I run cards that get to my infinites. And I want to win with one card. I told okay. you it all. I'll pay three for a two-two that bounces a creature to its owner's hand. Well, bounce your commanders. Oh, no, it's so big. Yeah, say goodbye. Goodbye, Farida. I'll pass the turn on to Casey. Cool. I'll draw for turn. Like you, are you not thinking at all? You undersold the deck. No, I told you exactly what I, I did. I had and what I'm doing. You also said minimal interaction. Yeah, I did say there wasn't that much interaction. And yeah. I have interacted with quite a bit of things. Yes, Cap. you have. Can I even search? Is searching allowed? You can search uh, it now. Yeah. Nothing's yeah. prohibiting it. I'll play Steel Shaper's Gift and search for an equipment card. Okay. Is there anything to get, though? How many cards in hand, Zach? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, seven. I'm doing anything. Seven. It won't happen, so... I'm just looking for one card. I got. I need one more piece of the puzzle. I'll just search for Swiftfoot Boots. I'll tap three. I just realized, even if I have it, I might lose a game playing it, so... Or Goblin Sharpshooter. Good. How would you lose the game playing an infinite combo win? Because it's tap not four. a guaranteed He's... win. <laughs> the white. Uh, yeah. Tap that. Swiftfoot Boots. Mm -hmm. 
attach the goblin sharpshooter and uh -huh. use the other two black to go to equip warple sword to goblin sharpshooter i have a response yep cyclonic rift overloaded gotcha. yeah loaded <laughs> rift Zach, can we get a value check on your deck, please? <laughs> can we get a price check? Uh, oh, it's, it's $500. It's not very good, though. It might be expensive. <laughs> might be. Might be. Might Man be an expensive. a $110 card already. It might be an expensive deck. From three cards, I see $200. Yeah, there's a graveyard. It's pretty expensive. Ristic Study, Cyclonic Raft, and Mana Drain. That's $200. So, might be... He's like twenty bucks, right? Yeah, that's two hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. That's 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 the turn, boys. I'm going back to doing nothing. <laughs> My deck is one hundred and eighty bucks, maybe. Raw. Mine yeah. is uh, one twenty ish. Cast Farida, make this go to level three. Cast Alter Dementia. I wish you would just fucking win, Zach. Temple of Boothney. I got nothing, dude. Scribe, put it to the God bottom. damn it, dude. Equip Zach. this Zach. here. Zach. 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 Zach, your commander to Altar of Dementia, mill us out. Can I move my commander to my command zone? Oh, I could do that. Yes. You have the win on board. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, let's just Thank do that. God. Now you guys all out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, How I did it happen? So I can keep on, since I have, like, basically infinite treasures, I can keep on catching yeah, Farida yeah. and mill you yeah. guys. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep. I want to start the outro of this video as an apology, to a re-apology, re re-apologize, whatever you want to say, for uh, not being as clear as I could have with my description of how my deck was supposed to work. I did in our pregame talk tell them I have infinites, I have multiple ways to search out the infinites, and I'll be assembling them to win with deck of many things. I did not know about infinite mana and the altered dimension just winning the game. It just didn't appear to me. I wanted to run that as a way to kind of mill somebody out with extra creatures I had and guarantee they had something in their graveyard that I could reanimate. Turns out you just win with the card and infinite mana. So, <laughs> not the best card for that slot. Anthony in our pregame talk, he just kind of listed off his commanders. We all were like, ooh, Zenigo sounds sick. So then he played that. Matt told us, secret, everything, you don't need to know about it, but it is a Matt deck with no win cons, so that gives you some insight to what he's playing, because Matt often does that. Casey just said he's playing Kelsey and the Plague. He's getting Death Touch, pinging us down. So that was kind of our conversation. I do want to apologize again, because I did say in there that I didn't have a lot of interaction but I, I had a decent amount. I, I really, if you look at the deck list, there's probably like 20 incidents or something, and they're all like D20 ones, so I don't really count those. I count like the maybe five that I added that are kind of expensive at the end as like real interaction, and it just so happened they all came up this game, <laughs> and so it looks like a lot, but I still don't think there's a lot. And the, the dudes are upset because I called it a gimmick deck, and, well, you might not think it's a given deck when you have all these infinites and stuff like that, but it really, you can't win the game with the combo. Even if I assemble all the pieces of my deck of many things, I am more likely to draw myself out with it than to actually win with it. So I am sticking to that it's a gimmick. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that's a gimmick win? Do you think it's not and it's just busted because there's infinites? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I'm sure I probably riled up all the AFZ people in our Discord. So I gotta go hide from those guys. Hope you guys have a great week. We'll be seeing you next week. I got interacted with four times in the span of like two minutes and three of them were Zach. The guy says no interaction. That was, <laughs> okay, that was misleading. I initially built the deck with no interaction and last minute. That was misleading. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I that. that was unintentional. Cannot. That was unintentional. I apologize. You. Cool one, Zach. <laughs> cool story, bro.